Hello ladies and gentlemen, Beaky here with the Untitled Game Show back once again on June 9th, 2015 with more video game news, reaction, and discussion. And let's talk about PlayStation. Can you believe it? You can now play PlayStation games on non-Sony devices. That is almost insane. Did you think a few years ago that you were able to stream or play Uncharted? Any of the big games like Last of Us, God of Wars on a non-Sony devices, many of us would never think that was going to happen. Just like many of us never thought that Sega was going to die and go away. Sega's still here, but they're not making consoles. I'm just saying, guys. Sonic on a Nintendo device? What? There was a time when I was a kid, I never thought it was going to happen. So what I'm about to say, I really do believe this is the future of gaming. So now that Sony has officially announced that Samsung TVs starting today will allow them to, um, well, Sony will allow them to stream PlayStation Now games directly to those devices without needing a Sony console or Sony device. It's the start to the future. Soon, I believe that we will be able to get a PlayStation Now app on iOS, Android, and other TV brand makers and set-top boxes. I just think that this is the future of gaming, at least in Sony's mind. Sony needs to focus on their PlayStation brand, and this is the first step in that process. By getting the PlayStation name out of just Sony devices, it actually expands the audience of gamers accessing these games. They need to make the PlayStation brand just an application, just like app Netflix, just like Amazon TV. Everything out there, it needs to just be on there and be accessible to everybody to be able to use. I know right now it's only PlayStation 3 games, and um, they're saying that they're going to be bringing out PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1 games down the line. But can't you guys see in 10 years, maybe 20 years, we'll eventually be at a spot in gaming that Sony's going to have it so that anybody can access any of their titles from any platform. Um, specifically just using a streaming service like a PlayStation Now application. Now, there's still going to be consoles coming out for a long time, guys. Even 20 years from now, I think there's going to be a PlayStation console just for the fact that there's always going to be people who don't have that great internet connection. And with that being said, I think consoles are always going to be kind of the superior experience to streaming because there is latency issues, especially when you stream video games. But still, this is a good sign from Sony because they're expanding their brands to new markets because now people who Samsung smart TVs have access to the PlayStation library of games that they previously never had access to. And I definitely do think it's going to have a lot of people jump onto the PlayStation bandwagon because if you turn on your new TV and it has a PlayStation app, you're probably going to click it just to see what it is. It's like what I did when I got my PlayStation 4 when I saw all those TV apps that I never heard of. I just clicked on them just to see what those services were. Same thing I did with the um, Funimation application. I didn't know there was a Funimation application until it came on my PlayStation console and I clicked on it and ended up subscribing to it. So I think this is going to be an introduction for many players and many people who just don't know much about PlayStation games. But now they're going to have access to stuff like God of War, Uncharted, Last of Us. And eventually they're going to have access to some old school titles like Spyro and Beyond. And I think that's a good thing. I don't see anything negative from this unless you have really bad internet connection. And if you do, there's still going to be the PS4 console. And I can guarantee there's going to be a PS5 console as well. Speaking here with the Untitled Game Show, just sharing my own opinion on this. Is streaming the future of Sony? Do you guys really see them? They're going to push this hard. Is the PlayStation Now application going to come to iOS, Android, Apple TV, you know, Amazon Fire TV, and every single phone out there? Do you see that happening in five to ten years from now? I do. How about you? Let me know in the comment section below. Peace out, guys.